Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at the Eashin EX3 drone, courtesy of banggood.com. Check out their site for more cool quadcopters just like this one. Now this drone has GPS, optical flow positioning, and ultrasonic sensors underneath for a rock solid stationary hover. It is foldable with brushless motors and has a remote tilting 2K camera that streams in 5G Wi-Fi. And it has plenty of automated features such as waypoints, orbit, follow me, return to home, auto takeoff, auto land, and plenty of others. So let's check it out. Now the drone comes in this black square box showing the quadcopter there in the front. And this is the Eashin EX3 Bug Series Brushless Foldable Drone with GPS. And it's for ages 14 plus. And it has a 2K camera that streams in 5G Wi-Fi FPV. And here at the top, there's not much going on. Here on the side, we have a compact view of the drone all folded up along with its transmitter. And here we have a list of its key features such as GPS, optical flow positioning, ultrasonic sensors, adjustable camera, 2204, 1350 kV motors, and LCD display on the transmitter. So plenty of neat features packed in. And here on the back we have some warning and cautionary notes along with the QR codes for the X-Drone app in both the iOS and Android app stores. And here at the bottom, there's not much going on. So let's go ahead and open it up and check out what's inside here. And right away, you could see everything's all boxed in there. So let's remove these little sub boxes and take a further look inside. Here we have probably the manuals and accessories. And so right here, you can see the drone all folded and compact along with its transmitter. So very nicely packed away in there. And now pulling out the drone here, as you can see it's all folded and compact. And it looks very sleek, very interesting look to it. Here in the front you can see it's remote tilting 2K camera. And you can see all the LEDs and foldable propellers along the sides of it. So very cool and it's very easy to fold out. As you can see here you start out with the front legs followed by the rear ones and everything just snaps into place very securely. And here's how it looks when it's all folded out. Very cool. And here at the top you can see the EX3 logo of the Eagle. So very nice. And so we'll place it here on the side. Now looking in the box for the transmitter, it comes with this uh, real sleek compact DJI-like transmitter. And it has these fold-out antennas that are most likely just for looks. And it has these fold-out grips that make it very ergonomic and comfortable to hold but they are optional to uh, use so very nice transmitter we'll set that right over here and now looking further into the box we have this little sub box right over here and this contains the uh, two battery charger along with the USB-C cable so very interesting charger you can charge up to two batteries at once and uh, you would simply plug in this uh, USB-C cable and you can get up to two cables to charge both batteries at once and they connect there on the side and it has a display uh, an LED display there in the front to let you know the status of the charging so very cool now let's open up this box right in here and here we have the instruction manuals and quick start guides very nice very well published you can see and it comes in several languages uh, very detailed and uh, has good clear diagrams so a lot of information there in the quick start guide and this instruction manual is very thick very detailed instruction manual in different languages and it has plenty of information so uh, a very good instruction manual that comes with uh, with this unit here so well published uh, well laid out instruction manual and here on this box we have the uh, spare propellers we got four folding spare propellers along with the screwdriver and I believe some screws in there to install them if necessary so a very good set there so now let's organize all this and take one last look at the contents of the box 
Now taking one last look at the contents of the box, we have the drone itself with its 7.6 volt 3400 milliamp LiPo battery, four folding spare propellers along with screws and a screwdriver, the USB-C dual charging battery charger for the drone's battery, the transmitter, and the quick start guide along with the instruction manual. So that's essentially the contents of the box. Now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now taking a closer look at the drone, this is a neat looking drone that is virtually identical to the MJX Bugs 4W. And here at the front you could see its remote tilting 2K camera that shoots at wide angle. And it does have some dampening within it. And here on the side you could see its SD card slot. So it does record onboard footage to an SD card. And down below we could see some of its sensors starting with its optical flow camera sensor right here. Then we have a couple of ultrasonic sensors right over here. And right here we have a couple of powerful LED lights that are used as landing lights. And now looking at the top of the quadcopter, we have four powerful brushless 1350 kV motors with foldable propellers but it does not come with any propeller guards and the drone is foldable and it's very easy to fold starting with the front legs followed by the rear legs so very easy to fold and you have to align the propellers accordingly to achieve a proper fold and as you can see the unit looks all sleek and compact and you can see all its sensors underneath along with its camera and folding it back out is also a very easy process you just start with the rear legs and follow it up with the front ones and everything locks into place very firmly and securely so good quality fold there and here at the top you can see the Red Eagle logo with the EX3 and now taking a look at the LEDs we'll just turn it on here by keeping its on off button pressed here at the top for a few seconds and as you can see it has pretty bright LEDs good for orientation or an early evening flight and now let's take a look here at the battery it has a pretty big battery bay and the battery here is a 7.6 volt 3400 milliamp lipo battery and it charges within a couple of hours using this dual battery charger right here that uses a USB-C connection on the side and if you have an additional cable you can charge two batteries simultaneously and so you would simply slide the battery into place here and it locks in there and you can see the indicator there that the battery is charging and you can pick either slot to uh, charge the battery it'll automatically just start charging it regardless of where the cable is plugged in so uh, it takes the guesswork out of knowing where exactly to place the battery or cable it just knows how to charge it properly so pretty cool and if you have an additional cable both batteries will charge at the same time and if you just have one cable it will charge the batteries in sequence so now the battery does provide the quadcopter around a 23 minute flight time which is pretty good and now looking at both the Bugs 4W and the Iashin EX3 they're identical for the exception of the main icon logo there the Iashin has the Red Eagle which is the EX3 there and then the Bugs 4W has the little Bugs logo there in red as well. And so aside from that, they're virtually identical with the same controller and quadcopter. So overall, a neat, well-built quadcopter with plenty of sensors and features. So now let's take a closer look at the controller. Now taking a closer look at the transmitter, this is a very sleek DJI looking controller. And here in the back it has these two fold-out grips and it also has this battery compartment here that takes two AA batteries right in there and uh, in order to get to that battery compartment you do have to fold out the grips but in any case uh, looking at the front here we have these two foldable antennas that are just for looks they don't appear to be valid antennas and it also has this fold-out mobile device mount where you could put a pretty large cell phone but not quite a tablet and you could fold the mount back away along with the grips so that you have a compact lightweight controller now going over the controls we have the left throttle stick followed by the right rudder stick 
and then we have our lock button to enable the motors in idle or do an emergency shutoff. Here is our on off button. And then on the screen we have a lot of telemetry. We have the signal strength, the battery levels on both the drone and transmitter. We have the uh, distance and height, the mode, the, whether GPS is enabled or not, number of satellites, uh, low and high speed. So a lot of good telemetry on this LCD display. Then we have the return to home button right here on the upper right corner. And we have the camera and video button right here. So a short press will take a photo and a long press will take a video. And right here on the side of the controller we have the GPS switch. So you can turn on or off GPS whether you're indoors or not. And you would see the result of that on the LCD display. And then here at the top we have the auto takeoff and auto land button right here. And then we have on this side the light button or speed button. So a quick tap will turn on or off the lights on the bottom of the drone. And you have two rates of speed if you keep it pressed, low and high. And you can see that also on the LCD display. And then we have these two rollers. One of them is not in use. And the one on the right will tilt the camera about 90 degrees and so you can tilt it upwards or downwards remotely so that's very cool and so overall a good solid controller that provides the quadcopter with around an 800 meter range of control so now let's take a look at setting the quadcopter up for a first time flight and its app now setting up for a first time flight is very straightforward once you have a fully charged battery inserted into the drone along with an SD card and have fresh batteries inserted into the transmitter along with a cell phone or mobile device, you would go ahead and activate the drone by keeping its on-off button at the top pressed until you hear the second set of chimes. Then you push the lock button and keep it pressed and turn on the transmitter and it should automatically bind to the quadcopter. After a few seconds, you'll notice the drone automatically enters in compass calibration mode. So you would rotate the quadcopter about three or four spins on its flat horizontal axis until you see a couple of the lights change color. And right now you'll see that they are all green. And now you face it upwards with the camera facing up. And then you rotate it another three or four spins until the lights, I believe, turn red. And then you'll see that the front lights turn red and now you would wait for GPS connectivity and we already have a few satellites so it automatically connected and you may want to perform a gyro calibration while it's on a flat surface and not moving and to do that you move both sticks down and to the left and so that should initialize and level the drone and at this point, you can hit the red unlock button to start the motors in idle. And then you can apply a little throttle to give some altitude and take off. Or you can hit the auto takeoff button. So you have a few options there for takeoff. But at this point, you want to try to connect to the drone's Wi-Fi so that you can use the FPV app. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So once in your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings, you want to look for an entry that says drone underscore and it'll have a serial number. And so you want to connect to that. And initially there is no default Wi-Fi password or anything to that effect. So you can just simply connect to this drone underscore serial number entry. And once you do that, you can go ahead and launch this app right here, which is the X drone app. And it's in both the iOS and Android app stores and it's a free download. So once you have that on your mobile device, you would go ahead and launch that. So you'd simply tap on it and you'll immediately be greeted with this screen right here, X drone, and you have some help and language options, but you wanna start out right here where it says go. And you'll see a couple of intro screens here giving you some tips on what all the icons and everything means within the app. So now briefly looking at the app, we right away have a live FPV feed with the quadcopter, as you can see here. We're already connected. And it has a pretty good, clear FPV feed with very little latency. And it's very clear. 
And so the FPV range on this is around about 300 meters or so. So a pretty good FPV range with the 5G Wi-Fi. And so now looking at the app here in detail, there's lots of telemetry and options within it. And we'll start up here on the upper left corner with the photo gallery where you can view all the saved photos and videos either within the app or the SD card. Here is the 3D split screen view for FPV using VR goggles. Then over here we have the 180 uh, flip screen view where you could flip the uh, video view upside down if necessary. And then we have uh, this icon here which will remove all the icon so you have a clear FPV view as well and we have some telemetry there such as the number of satellites and the distance and the level of charge or battery on either the drone or transmitter the signal strength so on and so forth we can also go back here we have some settings such as parameter settings for maximum distance and altitude per waypoint here we can see whether we did all the calibrations and GPS status and here we have our flight logs so we can see the time and distance per flight and then here we have our return to home we have our orbit mode here then we have our follow me mode over here and then we have our um, waypoint mode right here so you would simply tap that once you have GPS and then you can go into the map view and draw your waypoints and then submit that and the aircraft will fly those waypoints and then you can also switch between photo and video view right here or mode and then you can uh, take photos and videos using the app so overall a very feature filled app with plenty of options and telemetry along with the display on the controller a good quality aircraft with uh, lots of sensors and features at a very good price so now let's take her up for a spin and see how she performs